Good day to you all, and thank you for inviting me to this wonderful country. A very young pupil once asked me, where do you work, Heidis? And I answered with a little pride, of course here in the school, teaching you. And the class didn't say anything, they stared at me. And the one said, do you get paid for that? Uh, and before I could say anything, uh, yes, before I could say anything with that, uh, I, the, uh, another one said, why don't, don't you get you some proper job at this? As, uh, for example, in an assurance company or in a bank. Because they didn't see what, uh, that I was working, of course not. I had to work somewhere else. Um, and they, uh, they often, uh, I often hear parents uh, seeking the, uh, taking the children from school say, what did you learn today? Nothing, they said. We had not learned anything. We were playing the whole day. And when I was young, uh, I felt ashamed. I thought, what do they think, the parents? She's just playing with him. No use. Uh, but I'm not ashamed of that anymore, because in school, the brightest light is creative play and amusement while doing the real things. When I had been teaching the youngest children for 22 years, I found that I was not pleased with the way I was working. Something very important was missing, and I had a feeling of emptiness. There was a hole. I wanted desperately to fill, I knew with what, but not how. I wanted to develop, cultivate and nurture the children in a creative way, not only as pupils, but furthermore as human beings, so they would be able to meet the future with courage and believe in themselves, but how? The school day was only three hours long, and of course we had to teach reading, writing, and the nuts, and many other things. Yes, the hole I wanted to fill was huge, and the time was short. The only way to do this was to integrate all activity in the classroom under one name. My hope and belief was that somewhere there was a frame strong enough to hold it together so nothing would fall out, be forgotten or neglected. What frame could possibly include this all? And all of a sudden, I had the answer I had been looking for. Life! Life, of course! Life was integrated more than anything else, and there it was, all together in one pack. Life of modern, grown-up, responsible people settling down on a new untouched island where nothing had been done but by human being, only what nature itself had done. The children would have to find everything out themselves, how to get the things and services they couldn't live without, how to decide what comes first, what is most necessary, and how to pay for it. Of course, life would automatically bring them questions to answer and works to do. And life would spin the project endlessly and automatically further. We could only have to follow the natural thread of life. What good would this kind of teaching give the children? Sometimes I compare my teaching method with the story about the stone shoot. The woman there said she couldn't give the traveler anything to eat. He said, but if you have a pot and water in it, I have a stone that I can make a good soup of. He started and tasted the soup and said, if we had some salt, it would be better, and continued. A little piece of meat would make it delicious, and a little of vegetables, and so on and so on. And in the end, the soup became perfect. The fantasy land is the tasteless soup, but the children always looked around, seeking information from other nations, how they live, 
how always com always comparing life here and there in order to find out if they they like to do the same, or did they find something negative or too expensive, wanted to do something else or do it later on, what they had money en when they had money enough. Every discussion was filled with examples and stories from the outside the real world, not only today, but also from old time. They could start to seek for knowledge about the universe, the earth, the climate, the explorers, the home country and nation, the neighboring countries, and so on and so on. They also begin on the new island with eruption from the sea. Global place, climate, time from boiling lava to growing land, vegetation, animal life, preparation of the settlement, voyage of the settlers, landing, shelter, home, water, food, farming, fishing, healthcare, education, religion, justice, financial affairs, communication, mode of government, national affairs, taxes, services, commerce, industry, export-import, culture, art, environmental affairs, energy, science, language, maps of all kinds. Now you truly say, this must be like being stuck in your car under a mountain of snow. But are the children too young for this? Is this project too heavy or not understandable for them? Because I began when they were seven years old. Why begin this so early? Don't they have time enough? My answer is, you can do everything with young children if they enjoy themselves and if they are eager to get more. Remember that here, uh, that here developing comes first, knowledge follows, as preparation for the future studies. Amusement and all kinds of creativity blend lightly and beautifully together in this program. What could make this method too difficult for the young ones? Here comes the most important rule. Never ask the children what they have learned. Never let them into at the trap of not knowing. If you do that, the method is too heavy. Because then they could uh, lose the courage to have opinions, answer questions, and take a full part. Then the fun and the pride are maybe forever far away. It's my root opinion that this is exactly the best time to start. Though, of course, you can start using this method whenever you like. Why is this age the best, as I see it, to begin this? Because this is the time of sowing the seeds. Exercise, thinking, studying, living in the future, and use the brain and heart to create endlessly. There is a strong likeness between the new island and the children. Both have all the goodies that have not been used. The basic meaning of this method is encourage your children to think and seek. Stop feeding them with spoon where everything is ready on the plate but fill the bowls with questions and inform them where they can find answers, asking people, finding books about, about the matter in libraries or at home, and of course, use the internet. Therefore, I will never write a usual learning book about this method, only handbooks for teachers. And now, for the first time, there are about to be published workbooks also for children to work in both in school and at home. In which direction shall we go? Higher up the staircase? Teaching what they usually learn later as to win some run? No. 
The goal is to broadening their views to all sides, sow the seeds, as I said before, and prepare the children's journey through school and life itself. You don't have to climb any staircase. The world is truly wide enough. And of course, when they discuss grown-ups affairs automatic, automatically, they get used to the grown-ups language, and that will increase their vocabulary. All this will make the learning and living easier in the future. Something about the teacher. I, got, uh, I often get this question. Must not the teacher be very well informed to teach like this? No, not more than other teachers. In the old days before internet, endless books and the possibilities to find answers to every question in the world, it was, of course, necessary for the children's education that the teachers were almost like encyclopedias. And teachers felt ashamed if someone said, what, don't you know this, aren't you a teacher? Today, we teachers must be brave and honest enough to admit to the children that we don't know everything. But of course, together we can find the answers somewhere. Nowadays, children rather need a good leader, understanding, interested, and encouraging, one who believes in them. The teachers must always be happy and interested in what is on the program and looking forward for every day and be able to ask forgiveness if he had failed or been unfair to someone. For where could children learn that to say, please forgive me, if they never heard grown up people they respect use the word? <coughs> These are big words. Nobody at all can be like this. But we can try, and it is worth trying. We would gain lighter atmosphere, happier children with much more eagerness to take part, positive companionship, and with more, and with more trust in themselves. Here comes the teacher's role. He is, of course, the responsible leader, but also the fate itself, the fate. He has to decide what the settlers cannot do themselves, as where the new island is globally, what form it has, and the shape of the land. He keeps the question flowing. He never says, this is not right. Rather, are you all pleased with this, or will you be, perhaps discuss it further? If they cannot agree at all, they go to election secretly, of course. Or if everything is stuck, the leader could say, maybe that is too difficult for you. You can, of course, get back to your old country. You are not bound to stay here. I've never been able to end that sentence. The children have shouted, no, 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 we are not going to leave our country, never. We will, of course, find a solution. And they always did. But in every class came the question, can we afford this? Can we find a cheaper way? Is it wise to take a loan? How can we get money? Take, talking about teachers in the role of faith, they have to let something happen and show the children the necessity of having laws, something that they would never ask for as a crime, for example, only if they found the need for the law. I began one morning, I am sorry, I bring you bad news, a crime has been committed. A thief stole a sheep from a farm, killed it, and disappeared. The children stared at me in horror. No, we are not having crimes in our country. We don't want it. I understand you perfectly, I said, but why have other countries, other nations, said yes to it? It happens all over the world. 
Could this probably be a, the man's first crime, or had he done it before, maybe often? Maybe he is poor, has no fault for his family's family, and is never going to do that again. I heard that there was a temptation to free the thief, but I didn't say anything about that. Have you agreed that what you do, you will set him free? Then it's legal that if a person is poor, he can take what he wants from others. No, oh no, that's not good. Everybody might start to steal and commit other crimes. You can't do that. After three weeks of discussing this, how to prevent crime, justice, punishment, a little every day, they came to conclusion. They had to have fair laws and also punishment differently after the seriousness of the crime. Prison was too expensive to build for one man, and his crime not serious enough. In the end, they sentenced him to be out of the country with first shift possible, and while waiting, locked in a cellar. This is just a little example of how one event can spread hundreds of questions claiming answers and how many new words will follow. Here many, uh, how many drawings, how much written, how many poems, fast or slowly, deep or on the surface, that is a question. Where I, when I was young and ignorant, I thought that the days when everything went on smoothly and easily in the classroom, the perfect day. Later I found out that the children had not gained much. Most likely they had known that all before. They didn't have to struggle. If you tiptoe fast on the surface, most likely you can go over bends of the subject but without nurturing their brains. It has so much more influence if you go as deep down as you can and squeeze that fruit dry. Although you find you as you are fast in the snow, it's much, much more influence by that. Don't try to finish the material. It is endless. You can stretch it on and on for years, the more questions to struggle with, the better. Here comes the children's roles. During all discussions and activities, the children are in the role of congressmen, with the right to elect in favor of the nation. Private. They may be whatever they like, farmers, fishermen, priests, teachers, doctors. That's logical in life also. The nation in all are more than the class alone. There are also families and friends. Nobody will ever become a president, king, kaiser, or dictator, or whatever. And the thief that stole the sheep will never have a name. This, this Congress, they, they were all equal, and they didn't have any uh, personal role in it. The plan, 
The teacher do not need a plan made for every day, because life is always more or less a surprise, but will spin itself automatically. You only use your common sense and respect the golden rule. As I will say again, never ask your children what they have learned. Never let them into the trap of not knowing. What age can learn by this method? What would I have done if I had more time than these two years? I began with seven years old children, as I told you, and after only two years, I moved to other schools. If they had stayed longer with me, I would have kept on uh, with this method uh, to 16 years old. It is endless. The world is endless, and the work also. And now I will say to teachers everywhere in the world, although this method is created in Iceland, it is easy to use it wherever you like. You only have to take notice of your own place and time. When using this method, the teacher must understand that he is sowing, working for the future. He is sowing very important seeds in a soft soil. Hmm. Okay. It may be that the seeds you sowed yesterday will not burst into flower today. I believe it will in the future. When teacher, we teachers must love and believe in our pupils, every single one, no matter how difficult and negative they seem, give them enough to work and play with. Do not uh, starve them. Feed them generously, make every day a feast. Then we can most hopefully avoid that the one little Oliver Twist that was there among our pupils with an empty bowl, maybe year after year. What I have learned being a teacher all these years, the most valuable it is. We teachers, parents, and psychologists will most likely never find out how clever, able, and magnificent children are, so we must be aware of underestimating them. And we will get some uh, pictures from national fish. But I, I have a few lines left. It's a very, very good day and happy day. But one shadow is there, though. But we try not to think about it. We are saying goodbye to each other, maybe for the last time. The school is over. My pupils are going to other schools. Next year, and the young, the young nation is spreading all over Reykjavik and Aria. We all have a deep hole in our hearts, and there are flowing tears among laughter, but holes are there to fill, and we are so lucky to have far the best material to fill it with. So overflows, that is memories, the wonderful treasure that can keep us mentally from thirst and hunger for endless future. Thank you. This is, this is a powerful class. I, I always had very many children, up to 34 in one class. But so this is just a part. That, uh, that is a model of their land, this class. And they love their lands always. Here uh, they are in national costumes. And of course, there were uh, stories about the trolls and the, the many things. And there they had made trolls so big that they could uh, put on their own clothes. So you see, they are very, very big. These are the flags. From the, okay. These are the flags from the twelve lands I followed, and the, and the names also. Uh, if we start, every day when we had discussed something, we, they, they made a picture from, from their own heart, and they uh, wrote down uh, the main words they would like to remember later. 
And there, there be a refugees on the island which has come. This is, this is what to take with them. They have to prepare everything. And uh, here is uh, the ship. Here is the first buildings on land. And they have to have water. Uh, many kinds of buildings. And that's, that is what, what uh, yeah, the energy on the land and uh, what to make of the business on the land. If someone is uh, out of work, we have to be helped. I think you see it almost without help. Yes, this is, this is maybe the thief of the sheep. They are going to put them in the cellar. Here is in the classroom. We are getting ready for the national test. And here is my Many of the trolls, as you can see. A picture from one, one uh, play. Uh, they always ended the national fest with a long play, maybe an hour or an hour and a half. And this is from a musical. And uh, here, is, here they are in the bank. They are giving to the guests on the national fest money from the land. Special money, of course. Here you can see a map of some. Oh, here are the passports. Sorry. Yes, that's the later, the later year. Dolls of Coke. <laughs> uh, this is the, the warm uh, in, the, in the earth. And this is a little from a. Uh, Art show. They, they get books, they got books and found out what the, what the animal they wanted to do. To and so they could look at it, but not get any other help.
How did they create the nature of the country? I mean, the forest, did they decide if it's a forest or mountains? How did they create that? Yeah, how, how did it? Yeah. How did you go through yeah. the creation? How the nature start, the life start in the island? Uh, Could they have a chance to choose what plants we want, what animals we want, what birds what? we want? I did not. Uh, had the chance to go to... How did they... How did you? Yeah, they didn't. Can you? No, don't hear so well. No, they they couldn't. The nature always do that. Always do that. Where the forest is and the mountains and everything. As I said, you must be the fate. Everything people can do themselves, they can do. But if it's, if it's in the hands of faith or the nature, then I have to decide. Of course, it would be unnatural otherwise. How did you teach nature, uh, our relation with the nature? This is something which is not, which is existing. And uh, how did you teach that? Uh, our uh, no. like relation with the, so with, with the nature? Uh, that this little island is there, you have to pre uh, we have to compare it with what you know about your own old uh, uh, land, because this must be on the same or uh, 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 yes place on the globe, and therefore it comes automatically that uh, they can find out what can grow there and what animals can live there. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, answer enough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have to look around and find out. Therefore, it's so important to uh, have the new, uh, for, uh, uh, that the teacher let the new island be on the right place of the globe because of the uh, surroundings and the weather and everything. If they are going to do this in China, they have to look around there and take what they uh, uh, have to know from the uh, right surroundings. Mm -hmm. uh, the question was, this, when you did this in the school, huh? was it a private school? Did you teach people pay for the education there, or it was state school? A blend oh. of it. It, it. They had to pay for the children a little, but also the, uh, the state um, took part in it, of course, the most part in it. So it was, uh, this, it was a private school uh, connecting to the teachers' university. And we got pupils from there to learn with us. Um, I understand that it has been tried many times. I understand some of the other teachers also tried this method. Um, they, they came to a, a seminar with me, I learned about it, but they didn't uh, do it exactly, and I understand that very well. It's not easy to be uh, by the side of someone who is uh, mm -hmm. doing this, but I know they liked it because they let me have their children. <laughs> so they must have liked it. In other schools they tried it. Yeah. In many other schools they tried it out, but it's, as you said, it was not easy to do the same in the next classroom because uh, people think, maybe she cannot say it herself, but people think that she can do it all. She can make music, poems, uh, saw, see sewing, she made the theater parts and blah, blah, blah. But in, in modern... Uh, Schools, we have all kinds of uh, teachers, so uh, integrating this method in the, for many teachers is very easy. And as she said, and my feeling is this is actually very, very easy. You just have to, to dare to try. Here is a, a handscript of the book for the teachers that is in yeah. English. English manual for the... For the and methods? Uh, you, you could look in no. it if you like. We only have one. Yeah. 
we'll leave it here on the table so during the lunch time you can also see but please don't run away with it we just have only one just a script, it's not a final handbook yet, but you can already peek into it and see around. Kas veel midagi? Kõigi tahab küsida. We also have a website. Jah. Yep. Et siin on väiksed lippikud, kus on peal ka veebi leheadress. Very old and very ugly, but it works. Siis? The material is the same. The material is the same as we made this uh, website 10 years ago or 15 years ago, I can't remember. People even didn't know what the internet was. But uh, so it's really old and ugly, but the material in it and the stuff and the pictures, it's all, you know, that's all uh, up to date. Just the look is horrible. <laughs> Thank you. Nii, kas on veel küsimusi? The final question from me then, what did the parents think about it, the parents of the children? Maybe in the first year or second, it was, was it difficult to yes. explain them that what's I going on? I was so lucky that all the parents understood what I was thinking and uh, everyone was very pleased with it and they still say um, when the children are uh, with their own children and uh, the grown up people, they say, uh, my child uh, is using this still, and this has helped him all over his uh, studying and in life. And uh, that's what I hoped it would do. At least one of the groups, uh, I um, invited my mother two years ago to a meeting. I think they're about 30 years old now, and they quit school when they were eight. But they are still friends, and they they were standing there, and uh, she was with them and singing their national song in Esperanto, and it was almost uh, you know broken my heart <laughs> to be there. It was very nice. May I little, say a little about this Esperanto? One day, uh, people asked me in in the first land, uh, "Are you going to talk Icelandic all the time?" At first, I thought that of course that would be nice. We are always admiring the Icelanders that they had to go to America when times were very difficult in the old days in Iceland. And we are so proud of them, they are talking Icelandic, some of them still. But I saw the opportunity to uh, prepare learning of the language, to write down words, look into dictionaries and so on. So I uh, asked uh, a schoolmate, who is in one of the most respected Esperantists in the world, and I said, may I play with them, with Esperanto, or is it, is it dangerous or, or wrong? Please do, he said, and let me have books. And I said to him, I can not have word in this language, but I am going to try it with you. And that was very giving, really. And I, I only hope that this would be all over the world the first foreign language for children. Then we all could talk together. Ertis, thank you very much for finding time, for coming to inspiring us. I was really inspired by so many people here. I think a big round of applause for this wonderful presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Det var mycket flott. Det är det